So we're back. Part two. <laughs> that was a, that was quite a break, man. We just Pretty ate like cool sequel. yeah, yeah. No, I'm kidding. Um, so this one I want to show. Uh, now this is a big thing right here. The um, Jeff's gonna give you his opinion. The reloader. Those. Uh, which I don't have yet. <sighs> You're not I should good enough. have it already. You're not good enough. <laughs> Jason. He hates me. You know what? You probably shipped his last batch too late, so that yeah, <laughs> he's just right. getting back at you. <laughs> um, so the reloader. Now, my opinion. Um, now, I've always, you know, you guys always know I, I had the uh, Silent Soldier right away. I've had multiples. I still have it. It's uh, actually with him right now because I did destroy it. <laughs> but, uh,. He sent it back to me with one of these, and uh, hopefully the div div uh, division flipper as well. Uh, I couldn't. Division flipper, not divine flipper. Division. I, it, it was divine flipper, but I think maybe he just didn't like that name. Like the Tannic thing for my knives is not staying, guys. I'm gonna change the name. Uh, Tannic doesn't really do it for me. Um, but you know, I th I, I wanted the div division flipper, and I think that's why I didn't get this one yet. But uh, I'd heard so many things from everybody about this one when they got them. I thought I was getting one right away. Uh, but I think I confused Jason with wanting both of them. So uh, hopefully I'll have both, but hopefully uh, sometime this week I'll have mine. Uh, but, you know, Mike was saying how fantastic it was, and uh, Bob was saying how amazing it was, and you know, those two guys are very hard to please when it comes to knives, like especially Mike when it comes to flippers, or uh, folders in general, because he's a more of a fixed blade guy, and he's a very specific taste. So, And plus it's also a recurve and uh, Tonto, which Mike's also not a fan of. <laughs> I, I understand that. I mean, it's not the best for, you know, your everyday task. But, so me, I got, you know, first thing I did when Mike came over, didn't say hi to him, like, let me see it. Um, so, my first impressions were, you know, it's damn smooth. It is rock solid. It's insanely comfortable. It's gorgeous uh, and all around worth the money, I think. And I think it's definitely a winner for sure. Uh... Jason's twist on a Mikel Williamson, you know, the collaboration is just awesome. Um, you know, it's got the different grinds like like he would have. You know, the the colors, uh, the color scheme going on here with the satin and uh, black. You know, it's definitely him with Mikel Williamson looking crazy scales and the big open uh, uh, blood groove, uh, not blood groove, uh, opening slit, I guess. What the hell do you call it? More design, I guess. Nice and thick. Says Jason Browse on there. Uh, Browse blades. Um, I gotta say, guys, I mean, it's D2, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, incredible. I mean, it's an incredible knife. Uh, Jason had, you know, some people had some issues with the triple threat. I, it wasn't everyone's favorite design. You know, it, it may have been a fumble on his part, but for other people, it was a winner. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but that's no, no offense in any way to Jason. It's just not my thing. Uh, but I think he needed to come out with something to really really wow people and this definitely I, I will recommend this thing up and down uh, I know Mike is is a, a jerk to his knives so it should have blade play by it right now <laughs> if, if there was any blade play gonna happen it would happen I so yeah you know <laughs> I'm amazed with the, the back to the pricing I think that thing 299 is, is that what it is I think it's amazing 300 it's bucks 300 bucks it is titanium liners complicated blade shape complicated grind yeah complicating scales the scales are really Titanium cool. Titanium liners, it's it has so much. And there's some details here the, too. I mean, there's the, some the pocket, pocket clip's clip, incredible. Yeah. And uh, when we took it apart today, he wanted to blast the scales. Um, we noticed on the liner there's a U shape cut out with like a tab where it screws in. And that actually there, there's an opening here as you can see on the one side. Maybe there's a slit right there, so you can slide it in there and screw it in from the inside, right? Yeah. Um, now he was smart enough to know that 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 pull on the liner may cause some issues with the tolerances somewhat. So he cut that whole area out so the tab can slightly bend so you can tighten it nice and tight. And uh, that's just, I've never seen that done before and if that's not what it's for, I mean, it, maybe, I don't know what else it we would be for. Jason before, yeah, we'll probably before ask him. Don't, don't quote me on that, but I mean, that's what I, I kind of boil it down yeah, to. It has to have some, some function, it has. It it's, definitely, that's a good function if that's it because it doesn't interfere with the construction at all. You can see those lines are just gorgeous, guys. I mean, man, and it's funny they fit into the, your fingers, just slide right into them, like perfectly. It looks like it just for looks, but your fingers when you grab it, it actually like they come perfectly. At least my fingers, you know, the, this finger go you right there, it. right? Yeah. And this one actually, if you really grab on it, the t tip fingertip comes into this groove here. Oh yeah, right here you got I got all this right here in this middle groove. 
It's really... I mean, Jason's never had a problem with his ergonomics. He's very good with that. Except for the trench knife. That was a little bit crazy, but... That's more of his <laughs> crazy, crazy. The... Yeah, he's got some crazy designs. But when it comes to something that's a more common uh, product from him, uh, that's just fantastic. And I can't, I don't know, that's just really cool. It's amazing. I love it. Jimping's not bad at all. It doesn't hurt or anything like that. Uh, the backspacers kick ass for sure. Uh, I can't wait to pimp one of these. I think Bob's sending me one or two or something like that. Uh, awesome, guys. Awesome, awesome. I recommend it fully. Uh, I will have mine and I will carry it for a week straight. I will use it heavily. Uh, I will hate sharpening it. That's my only problem is I don't like recurves, but that's only preference. It has nothing to do with the functionality or the design or anything. Uh, it's awesome. And I, you know, I'm not just saying that because I like Jason. Um, it's awesome. It is, it is awesome. Design. It doesn't like feel, it doesn't device. feel cheap or anything like that. It feels it like feels quality. It's solid and beefy. It's like people who like the beefy blades, you gotta get it. And it's a nice size liner too. I mean, it's nice and yeah, thick. Yeah, and so uh, Terra Fanatic pointed out that it actually looks like the liner side, the locking side, is thicker than the other side. So you have even actually thicker, beefier titanium on the oh, yeah, it is. Uh, locking side. And then for the probably the weight reduction or, you know, maybe even cause or whatever. The other side is a little uh, thinner, which is a nice touch. I think it's a great idea. Yep, yeah, you can see it right there. Definitely. I love the little touch that the screws for the uh, for the backspacer. You know, one side is regular screw, and the other side is that nice, like a pretty cool-looking flathead. I like that. That that looks pretty nice. Even the pivot screw has really nice. That that screw is like. Not just regular screw, it's fancy. Yeah, he's got some good pivots usually. So the same same like on the silent soldier flicker? Yeah, I'm well no, I think the silent soldier had a had a male female end. I think this does it screw on both sides or is yeah, it cap? Yeah, okay, yeah. Sides, yeah. It's uh, the same screw, but I don't know if it's the same No no, it's screwed on both sides, yeah. Yeah. It has nice, nice uh, rollers. Not rollers, the, yeah the roller the bearing roller bearings are nice. Nice one. Just like the uh, Silent Soldiers, those are good bearings for sure. Nice and not sticky or anything like that. Nice Only and smooth. thing, it needs to get the Loctite because it's very addictive to flipping. So you're going to be flipping, 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 and it does loosen up. Still noticed, not, uh, not as smooth as this though. I've noticed a lot of uh, That's sheer weight. knives, a lot of knives that have bearing system, they come loose for some reason. Did you notice that you took them apart a lot, no? Yeah. I've noticed, I have the same problem with this, no, it's not really a problem, but the knives that have uh, bearings inside, they, they loosen up over time. Yep, my uh, I'm addicted to flipping the Curtis F3 and you see the centering's off. I just go like that for a second and centering's perfect, <laughs> as you can see. But, uh, you know, it just, it just over and over and over, you know, you start to, it starts to grab the pivot barrel there and just turn it a little bit if you just keep going and going and going and going and going. Cool, you, might put really some, <laughs> you might put some pressure one way which will pull up on it and, and contact the pivot that's like there's a microscopic like space in there to make you know the perfect I really like that one really really like this it's like the perfect size you know I like Hinderer mm -hmm. and the three three inch one is just like it's my size it's a nice little knife I like it but three and a half is a little too big and this is like right in the middle this knife right in the middle of those knives it has the blade size of the three and a half but the overall size is right between the 3 inch and 3.5 inch hinder and I love how this feels. It's nice, slim, very well constructed. I like this. I, I gotta get this at some point. This one is one thing what I actually talk about in my videos. You love how this flips, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, we talked about it actually, you know what I'm gonna say. Like A lot of flippers, when people consider a really good flipper, it has a really strong detail. I'm not a biggest fan of it. I actually don't like when I have to fight it so much. It kind of hurts my finger to to overcome the the detent and then it flies open. That's what I like about this because it's still a strong detent, but it's so so easy to push on it. And this one's like I mean now I like felt. This is that's incredible. a nice one because <laughs> this one is it's funny. This one is incredible because it has a strong detent and you can shake it open so easy. But you don't feel the detent at all with the flipper. It's just like it's not existent. It's but so it's, buttery. It's solid. God, it's so buttery. Yeah, dipped this in, one is... He dipped it in butter before he sent it. <laughs> I like this one. It's not my shape, but how it works, 
It's not my shape either, but it's my shape now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, what else I we got? I like here? my PT. Oh god. Isn't it the no? But the the action on it isn't yeah, it one sure, of the best not? riders ever? Yeah, why not? Super smooth. Come on, dude. There's you knives know, I like. This is a this is it, guys. I there's certain knives I just absolutely don't like. I'm talking about action. And and this is fine, yeah. But I just I can't stand the PT. I'm sorry. I'm talking about action. I know you it's don't like toy. the knife. It's a toy. It's a joke knife. I'm talking about the action. <laughs> it's one of the smoothest, best working striders ever. Did we see the action on this one though? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's nice, dude. I mean, it ain't no, it ain't no, it ain't no tango. It ain't no tango, though, man. That thing's got a better action than any knife. Tango is nice. I'm the the guy is one of the coolest people we ever met. I haven't showed this one in a video yet. Now we gotta stop this video and do part three because this is all the browse thing. All right, part three probably maybe we'll think about it a little bit more so we don't just put out some bullshit later. We have to contact our writers. Yes. Do the script. <laughs>